Andrew McSweeney, um, commonly known as Scuzzy. Um, at the moment I've got a couple of Western Stars, four Sterlings, um, an old Transtar, um, a couple of old Fords and an old Scania. 80% of our worst shipping containers on and off the wharf. We're just starting to move, keep moving to some general freight as well. We just um, just got some taut line and some flat top trailers and a drop deck into our fleet. For myself, four years, um, all up about, since I was about 20, so 25 years all up. Just wanted to give it a go, brought one truck to start off with, um, and just thought I'd just go from there and see how it went, and been happy ever since. In five years' time, I hope to have another, you know, 10, 15 trucks come on board. Um, I've got, I got, I got 12, 11 now. I've got five more coming in about two months. I've got five new Western Stars coming. I'm expanding because my clients are expanding. So that's. The, I'm not getting too much new work. It's just um, my current clients getting bigger. Different ways of advertising your business. There's um, there's social medias, there's um, newspapers, TV, there's bits and pieces. Social media to me has been my big thing, so that's why I started the Ned Kelly truck. I thought I'll get a flagship, build it, show it, work it, use it and abuse it, and to see how it went from there. And it's it's been been a big key role of this to, to this Gustrian's company. A lot of followers. Um, some people say it's like days of our lives every time they get up in the morning to see what Scuzz Strange is doing today. But if I've got 30, 30 or a thousand likes and then linked to people and people, that's, that's, it. that's social media for us. Bought it from a bloke in Tasmania. Um, I paid 40000 for it. Um, by the name of John Kelly. Um, not, not the other John Kelly, John Kelly from Tasmania, just a private bloke. He started the project. Um, not sure for what financial reasons he sold it. Um, I paid 40000 for the truck. Um, I've spent a bit of money on it since then. Um, I've finished all the paintwork on it. The upgrade uh, underneath the hood, um, put a new uh, upgrade of the motor. That was a big from the C12 to C15. Changed the 10 speed box to an 18 speed double over. Changed the diff ratios, extending it. We, made, we cut it in half, put two meters in the center of it. Um, extended the bunk um, and just, just kept going. It's like a disease. <laughs> Um, all American Custom Chrome has done quite a bit of the work for us, um, and a lot of it is just done, the, the balance of it, we've done ourselves. Um, all American Custom Chrome got, got me started on it, um, we've, we've probably over half the bling, and the last two years we've just keep adding to it as, as, I, as I find more toys to put on it. Uh, made the bar ourselves. Oh, okay. Awesome. Made that ourselves. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So with all the stainless. Yeah. Yep. The the front grill my brother put in all American custom chrome. Yeah. Um, the the tanks the, the steps we made ourselves. Yeah. And like from Mick from Truck and Stainless, he done the tank wraps and put the bling on the steps. Yep. Um, drop visors all American custom chrome. Mm. Um, all inside the sleepers, truck and stainless. Yep. Um, the rear light bar is all American custom chrome. Um, the stacks are all American custom chrome. And all the rest is scuzzy chrome. <laughs> Um, I'm going to paint the chassis next, um, I want to put a new dash in it, all new gauges, um, and then I should be getting close to finishing. So, um, we got a 1969 cab over Kenworth, Seattle, we're doing it up as a man for Snow River, it's in our workshop at the moment getting done up.